Hey, what's up, and welcome to my corner of the internet. It's time to talk about when anime get a chance to cook. When anime get a chance to really go through their story. They get a chance to be who they want to be. They get a chance to have enough episodes to really fulfill all the questions, give us answers, and also make us really happy we stayed along for the ride. And the anime that I'm watching currently has done that. It got enough episodes, it's a really good romance, and it was given the time to cook. And what's better than a chef given time? So obviously I'm going to put this on the screen. Uh, the English side of it is The Sacrificial Princess and the King of Beasts. This is written by Yu Tomofuji. This is 24 episodes, like I previously mentioned. This is a romance, fantasy, demographic shoujo, but obviously we love shoujo around these parts. This anime is wonderful. It touches the fantastical aspects that I love about anime. It's taking me to another world. It's giving me an interesting place to be a part of this world is separated we have two lands the lands of the demons the beasts and humans and obviously they are separated because you know what's an anime without conflict right slice of life probably regardless of that our anime gives us our main character sarfi she is a sacrificial human to the king of beasts to bring about peace between these two warring people that seem to always stay away from each other and this story facilitates a grand conversation of the pain and struggle and drama that comes through in our lives <laughs> Within this story, everyone's human. Everyone is allegorical towards the idea of humanity, the struggles, the wars, the plot points that comes through. This story is about the human experience, even though most of our characters aren't necessarily human and humans oftentimes commit such atrocities that destroy everything and ruin the future for others. This anime is about these moments and getting past them. Our main character, Sarfi, is the personification of getting past these sad moments and trying to live a good life, trying to find love, trying to supersede the trauma that has come from basically being an uh, unwanted sacrifice. And the entire human world knows that she's just this unwanted sacrifice that will be given up. And she is to appease, but she's also to be forgotten. <laughs> And with that, we are introduced to our king, Leon Hart, and obviously that's a bit of a spoiler for later, sorry. He is actually not going to kill this sacrificial princess. He ends up actually taking her to be his wife and the adventures ensue from there there's multiple different secrets that we find out throughout this anime it unfolds into a story where we see secrets we see moments of unrest leon Hart, as a king he wants peace he wants connection he wants everyone to have the opportunity to be happy within his kingdom and he's trying his absolute best like i can't fault the guy he is definitely trying and he has to defend his throne he has to defend his choices he has to defend taking a human as his wife because most people are like dog what are we doing and it's definitely an allegory for all sorts of different things that happen in normal life like racism all sorts of different trauma and like Beating, beating human nature where we deal with this pain and we try to supersede that because human beings are not are not actually very good at dealing with pain sometimes especially emotionally being hurt by others various characters throughout this entire story give us moments of understanding where we see their point of view and we understand why they react certain ways why they do certain things and it also within this anime it portrays the human nature almost immaculately 
You see these moments, you see these responses to certain events, certain actions of other characters, and you trace it emotionally. You trace it in their actions, you trace it in how they re how the things that they do come from a very place of hurt. And this anime definitely gives the hurt people hurt people. Along with that, this anime is built upon forgiveness. It's built upon giving people chances, and even if they go so far, they find solace in the end. This anime is genuinely wonderful, and I think you should watch it. I think if you like this shoujo anime that is a nice ride. It's a nice, good ride, and it was given enough time to cook. And I think that's what matters. What I really enjoyed about this anime was it paced itself out. It gave itself time. It didn't seem to rush any of the episodes. We got to enjoy the steady love and trust that was built between all of our characters. And also, it brought up one of my favorite things in anime, found family. That genre is so built upon creating new love and support. And this anime is filled with that. Saturfi finds love family new people to care about she finds a new reason to live and care about life and to face herself and face her own internal struggles this anime was built upon giving people the chance to be better than what they were and not to only coincide with the bad things that have happened to them this anime is definitely a good watch i rate it very highly i enjoy shoujo Especially when it gives me a story, it gives me topics, and it explores very hard topics, and it makes me examine my own human nature and the own things that have happened to me and how I'm trying to move past things and also deal with what life throws at me. And this anime does that. So if you haven't already checked this anime out, please do. It's, it's a great watch. It's a facilitated story that's fully realized. And we love that around these parts. So anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you. Take care and be well. Peace. Also, happy holidays.